guys welcome to the gaming review of the galaxy s20 plus so in today's video we are doing the gaming review of the galaxy s20 plus with the games pubg asphalt 9 and the gta san Andreas. so guys let's start from the asphalt 9 itself so guys we can play so i like enable the sound you can get an idea of the dolby atmos speaker so this is the stereo speakers from over here this is the full volume So guys, now the Dolby Atmos for gaming is turned on. You guys can see auto. So guys, it's started. You can see the sound quality over here. Oh my god. It's like a theater experience over here, guys. So let me lower the video volume. Oof. Wow guys oh. That's why actually the volume output from this Galaxy S20 Plus is so awesome Oh my gosh Killer output from the audio Actually in the settings I have been enabled the Dolby Atmos for gaming actually you have here you can see some gaming settings see you can Dolby Atmos for gaming oh my god too super awesome so that was the um, Asphalt 9 so let's go back let's give it there so it's in background as you guys can see uh, we can only put the Asphalt 9 on the background then we can have the GTA San Andreas. Offline. Resume. Actually great output. Actually I have noticed the Galaxy Note and Bus but I didn't see this much awesome op Oh my god, what an output. Let me decrease some volume. So guys, now the Galaxy S20 Plus is now playing on the default settings on the Let's stop it here. Oh. You just made me throw hey, my car. We can take the police cop car itself. Yeah. guys extremely smooth and no issues going on let me switch to the maximum resolution mode oh, yeah, it's, it's just flow through the wow
let me park my car perfect now let me switch switch and change the resolution uh, display setup and we can uh, now the resolution is on 18 percent we can set it to high 100 percentage from 34 to 100 then visual effects max then shadows advanced switch shadows advanced then car reflections detailed max max is the maximum detail maximum then subtitles yeah that, that doesn't matter so everything is now on high then let's go back and play once again now let's see how well the s20 plus performs again getting back to the car no guys still it performs so we are in the wrong way let's wow. Let's take this. Look where you go. Wow, guys, no issues regarding. Even if in the high setting, it just flew through the game. See, guys. So awesome actually the latest Exynos 990 performs too well. So guys we can just leave it over here. Now let's take our favorite PUBG. Actually I have done a detailed review of PUBG. But actually this is a simple one just to check the heating issues and all. So actually we have now played the Asphalt 9. Now we are about to play the PUBG mobile. So let's check it out. This PUBG is being loading. So getting onto the PUBG mobile. So guys, I will show actually. No issues. So actually I think now it's in the default settings. Let me go and check the settings. So it's graphics is on ultra and HDR. So it's in maximum settings guys. So. So don't waste time in checking both. Actually I have already shown the grass details and shadow details right now. See, you guys can see on PUBG in the maximum settings and all. So guys we are getting down as you guys can see. See no issues actually my ping is little bit low 160 only. Yes, actually in some network fluctuation is going on here and there. No issues regarding so far as you guys can see my companions, everyone else over there. So guys, till the time, no heating till now. I'm not a pro on the PUBG, so guys, let's check it out. What? What was that? Guys, let's exit and uh, let's do it once. Hello guys, for, so for the second time we are again on the PUBG Mobile and now it's in Quad HD Plus settings. But I didn't see many frame drops till now. 
so guys it's running smoothly as we compare to the previous video it's running so smoothly not yet any guys it went there So guys in quality plus since settings also there is no issue same compared to the see guys as you guys can see the detail over here I didn't seem to be any issues over there so the Exynos 990 performs so great when compared to the Galaxy 9810 and the Galaxy S9 Plus and all so when compared to the Galaxy Note and Plus it performs better so actually we didn't seem to be any frame drops and when compared to the heating matter it doesn't heat actually the camera areas is not too much hot So guys, as we told that the Galaxy GTS Andreas is on the background and the Asphalt 9 is still on the background. So after that we will go also do a RAM management at the end. So guys, uh, till the time we have not yet faced any minor issues over there. So guys, let's wait and check it out. So as you guys can not have noticed some minor frame drops here and there at the beginning so actually it is not of the frame drops actually my network is showing 84 ping sometimes it will switch to either a lower ping so that's why there is a shuttering going on there so it's not an issue of the Galaxy S20 plus it performs great so guys let's wait and just find out so guys as mentioned by some youtubers as 20 plus gets to tends to heat after a continues two hours of gaming and also let us check after two hours of gaming whether the galaxy s20 plus gets heat or not so let's wait for it guys so in the background we have still the galaxy gts san andreas and the asphalt 9 on the background so guys after playing PUBG for a long time still actually didn't feel any sort of issues and all actually it's running perfectly fine actually sometimes i just feel a frame drop actually after sometimes actually maybe it's due to the because of the ping or actually i'm not sure why it's happened actually may i think it's my finger ping is on the pair of g's being fluctuated to here on the but the galaxy is gta s andreas are working perfectly so let's check the ram management so again go back to the gta san andreas so it's over here so actually it's got a refresh and uh, let's go back to the asphalt next to so and always get a network refresh so actually it's it will done so and then again we can come back to the PUBG itself after that so I uh, so I'm always getting a network so that's up to you guys after loading this we can again turn on PUBG mm. let's put it over there itself and then let's open the PUBG once again still let's yeah it's, it's still on memory but some issues was going on the GTS and Andreas let me go to offline once more and they are assume it's again once more and let's check it out so it's on the same area and then again go back to pubg pubg yes then switching back to gt san andreas yes now it's there now check the RAM used, used right now okay then go to the device memory you guys can see 2.3 GB is available so it's absolutely fine so guys that's all regarding the gaming review of the Galaxy S20 Plus including the GTS Andreas, PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9. So I will do a com detailed comparison once again actually I don't feel this one perfect so, so guys stay tuned. Thank you guys.